video. I'm, I'm really sorry that I haven't done one in a while. Um, but it's just that I haven't, um, haven't, I have forgot about them. So it's, it's kind of like, um, when you forget about something, it's like, oh, right, I need, I need to do that. So yeah, um, that's what, and then as I see in the, um, comment, or in the title, um, you can see that we're going to be doing some mod reviews today. So that is going to be fun. Anyways, that's that. Okay, let's get into the game. Now, as you can see today, we're going to be doing some mod reviews. So, um, it's SnowRunner. For those who don't know what SnowRunner is, it's basically an off-road game where you can... Um, oh, right, I forgot to turn my mic off. Or my microphone. Level on. There, yeah, that should be better. That should be... Uh, let me check. That should be a lot better. Oh yeah, that should be a lot better, my guy. Uh, people, uh, okay, yeah, that should be a lot better. Um, yeah. So let us get into the game. So basically, we came out with the mod browser today, um, and I see that they also added the IX record. Um, I did not know that. So, um, we're also gonna, we might have time. We're definitely doing the custom crawler, and we're definitely doing the IX. Uh, heavy wrecker um, I can promise you that we're going to do this one um, I might do that one tomorrow uh, I should see if there's any other mods that came out any other surprises oh that's new this this one right here is new off-road trailers um, that's new I think that one's new too uh, okay yeah, so the only difference is the IX Wrecker. Anyways, um, if you want to download mods, you just go in here, you press this button, the square button, uh, subscribe, and then you, and then you, when it, once it's installed, you just press X to enable it, and it'll say on. Um, and then, if you want to test it out, you just go select map, and then you can choose one of these to go uh, test it. Um, or you can go, if you downloaded a mod map, you just go into custom scenarios, and here is all of the maps. Every single one. Um, and then, same thing, maps are the same thing. Uh, subscribe and then enable, and then they'll pop up in the new game, in custom scenarios. 
But anyways, let's uh, get in and test our daily mods. Or not test them, uh, but um, do a mod review on them. So, if you enjoy, then uh, give this video a like and subscribe to it uh, for more. Um, I might do the IX Factor later. Um, I'm probably going to go test it out first. Um, oh, my friend started a party with me. Um, I'll just quickly join that party here. There you go, okay, we're back on. Still loading, it takes a while to load. Um, but basically, I guess this is the default map. I'm, I'm not sure how you get the summer and winter proving grounds, but um, yeah. Yeah, so here we are. Oh, sweet. Kaiser, I'm recording. Oh, I had a Yeah, I'm doing a live stream. Um, uh, hey, subscribe to Sherlock Lee. Wait, what? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, do subscribe to his channel. It's pretty EG, though. Yeah, it's pretty pog. Even though I haven't uploaded in, like, 10 years. Yeah. Um, Remember that. I'm playing on stream tonight, so. Nice. Anyways, uh, almost the video or on the stream, I mean. Um, so, like I said, we're going to do mod reviews. Um, so, I think we're going to start off with the crawler. So okay, for the I'll, I'll get I'll get the algorithm in your favor real quick. Oh. So as you can see, it's pretty uh, it's pretty nice. The interior is um looks pretty nice. They got the little uh, steering wheel there. Oh, they got roll cage. Um, tires look pretty nice too. The whole interior looks pretty nice, and there's. Clear vision of view, no obstructions. Um, but I do have to say, this thing's got a lot of power when you have the max engine on it. Uh, lots, very lo lots of torque. Um, as you go from low gear, as you go from uh, medium to high, and I already stalled it. Um, um, I'm, I'm very. Then see, it can just get back on its feet. Um, it's pretty, pretty insane. I gotta say. Uh, so yeah, let's let's go test it. Whoa, 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 whoa there! I'm gonna test them there. But yeah, for the most part, the tires and the power is pretty pretty good. 3G. Um, they also got the when you have the lifted suspension on. You can act as an active suspension too, so you can have the deeper suspension uh, if you're going in really deep water or if you're just going on some rocks or something and you don't want a very low, you want a lower center of gravity, then you just go with the low. Um, but mostly for the turning, it's pretty nice. Um, if you go in the water, it actually goes pretty well. I can just hop in the water here and it doesn't even break a sweat. Um, so in the water currents it's really good. It's really speedy too. They're very speedy, very torquey. Um, it's all you could ask for in a mod. Um, but in the mud it performs just as well. Yes, the stream is very lit. Very lit. Um, very. Very. Uh, so, yeah, basically, it's, it acts as it performs as it does in the water as it does in mud. Um, let's see if this is deeper. Yes, it is deeper. But see, it. 
still goes through the water. That's pretty good when it's fully submerged. It's still slowly trudging along. And we got to the other end, as you can see. Which, that's pretty good. I gotta say. So, it's a really... And even in the mud, it's pretty... I mean, it's pretty decent-ish. I mean, you might have to go into a little gear. I think I just got stuck, but... Um, you get it. And the winch is pretty powerful, too. much it. It, it. it performs pretty well. Yes, I'm for champ. It performs pretty well. Uh, the one glitchy thing with console mods is that you can't recover your vehicles in the proving ground, so uh, I'm probably just gonna have to leave my vehicle here. Or I might be able to return. Ignore how much YouTube accounts I have. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna ignore that. Listen, one's my school account, one was the account that I used before I started YouTube, and then the other one's my YouTube. Yeah, okay. So you're also getting two subscribers. Dope. Um, but yeah, for suspension, it's pretty good. The suspension can get pretty beat up and it doesn't do damage. And um, you can climb rocks somewhat easy, so you can go vertical. It's pretty good. Um, for the fact of this part, bouncing up and down, it's pretty good. Uh, for this part, you might want to change into the higher suspension. Just so you don't beat up your suspension as badly. But yeah. For the most part, this mod is actually a pretty good mod. Even in high gear. Nope. Eh, nope, never mind. Scratch that idea. Um, but yeah. So that's that truck. Um, now for the um, this truck, the IX3880. Um, I believe here, as you can see, it is pretty detailed. Um, there's a bunch of customization options I'll show you in a minute for both of the mods. I'll show you the customization options. Um, this has a switchable audio drive. Um, it's a 8 by 8 no, 6 by 6 No, 8 by 8 yeah, an 8 by 8 So, it's a tri-drive, if you come from the truck world. Um, Yeah. It's pretty nice. The wheels are, options are pretty big. And there's also it's a 30 ton, 70 ton rotator. And it's also got the axle arm. Or the uh, axle lift in the back. You can also open the hood, which is pretty cool, I find. Uh, the one thing you can't do is that if you shut the engine off. You can't, um, you can't close it, so you have to have the engine running. I find it's kind of weird. Um, it's one thing I would change, but other than that, this mod is pretty good. It's got your crane mode, so you got crane mode. 
and your anchors um, they're not regular but when you activate your anchors it's those things so it's that and it's the ones in the back and they just go up and down and they come and suck back in it's pretty ingenious how they thought of it um, but if you do have it don't change the suspension mode because then it makes the thing absolutely useless as you can see it doesn't provide any it provides if it does provide any support it provides really little um, yeah I always recommend keeping it in this mode because when you do that you can't move um, and yeah and then there's also the fast control um, axle lift so you can use it and then you can extend it uh, you can also change where the forks go for so for different cars hey, Alex. and yeah what I think we need to take an ad break so first off if you're watching the stream right now please comment and like subscribe and okay yeah I, uh, uh, what else? Uh, like and comment subscribe this is a great YouTube channel uh, I can't say I watch it much because I'm usually in most of the videos, but it's pretty pog, pretty pog. And it's uh, proven that 99.9% .9 of viewers that watch and subscribe to the channel are actually diagnosed pog champs. So, alright, ad breaks over. Go ahead. Continue. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, interior, again. What if it would stop? There we go. Okay, interior. Uh, the gauges all work. As you can see, the rev RPM. I'm not sure though if. Well, I find that the weirdest thing is is that it uses more fuel when you're idling without all-wheel drive on, instead of with all-wheel drive on, which I find very. As you can see in the corner, it says 0 0.6, 0 0.6 right now. I turn it off. 1.3. So it goes up about twice, um, and there is a little bit of a glitch, or I wouldn't say a glitch, but um, the 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 mirror here it's stuck in the in between this and the sleeper. Um, that's one thing I would change if I could, um, but I don't think there's working button. So I didn't think it was in the description. Uh, but yeah, the entire truck looks pretty cool. Um, wheels again, massive. Um, there's lots of other options you can put on it. I mean, tons of options. Yeah, so the weird thing is that when you go into all-wheel drive, it consumes less. Which I find really interesting. But yeah, for the most part, it goes to the um, goes to the water pretty nice. Uh, the tires provide pretty excellent grip, and it's got pretty decent power. S plus and S for fuel consumption and great durability. So. Again, in the water, it's great. Um, let's see if it performs as good as it does in the mud. So see, in the mud here, it doesn't really break much of a sweat. Right here, here is a little bit of a different matter. It kind of slows down a little more, but for the most part, it keep, keeps going pretty f smooth. Um, I don't want to go in here because of ominous reasons, but as you can see, it gets stuck. But it's not like you're gonna come across mud like that. So for a truck like this. Pretty good, I would say. 
I also gotta keep in mind I don't have diff lock on at the moment. So if I wanted to, I could turn diff lock on. And then we go into here, we come back into here. Kinda went a little farther, but not really. It's pretty much stuck. Um, but the extreme winch on this thing is absolutely OP. Um, if you do have this on your map of all, uh, on your main map, if you like mods, this is a must-have because it can be a great rescue truck uh, for multiple reasons, and it also just looks good, which is great because you want to. I guess you want a truck to look good, perform good, and do all and all of those things. So now I guess we're kind of kind of go. I'll show you what the axle lift and the rotator does. Um, on this, so we just get lined up here. We will go into a lower suspension mode. Activator anchors. And then we will be off. So the one thing that is a little bit of a downfall of this is that the length of how far it goes. That's the one downfall. Um, but for the, yeah, for the most part, it's pretty good. change truck not know why I cannot winch to it which is really weird uh, we will just restore the crane there and we'll probably just... And another nice feature is it locks up all axles so they can't move. See, you notice how that front axle doesn't move, no matter what I do. And it actually has a parking brake animation, which I find RR sound, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah. So we'll just pull this out. Just drag it.
couldn't carry this. Did. Anyways, we'll just um, go to the garage and I'll show you the customization options. So first we will do the IX Wrecker, or the Heavy Wrecker, or the 380. Um, now stock it's camouflage color with highway stock wheels uh, for the engine this is the this one is the engine I had best fuel consumption best power uh, this one is best power but it has a lot more fuel consumption um, and then the other ones are kind of like the realistic engines. It's got like an S plus rating, but it's a very heavy fuel consumption. Um, so I'll put this one on for now. And then for your gearbox, you have high range, off road, and special off road. And then your Iggy's rear wheel drive, which is for the engine I have right now. Because you can see it says um, OP, and it says OP there, so OP, OP. Um, and then on here, it just says SE, and then SE. So these are the exact same ones, except ones. this one's active, so it goes up even higher, and then this one's just stuck at this height, and then this one is the lowest suspension. So I'll put this one on. Even though it says SE, it's that doesn't I don't think that really matters. And now here is where we get to the thing. So we got these low profile tires. Pretty nice. Um, more for a highway. They 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 look good in mud and they're low profile, so um they go pretty good. Um, I don't think there's chain like studded versions of these. I'll we'll see you later, but um, yeah, you got your stock wheels. So you got 43 inch, 46 inch, and then 49 inch. So you got the low profile and the highway stock wheels for highway. All train, you got the all train ones. And you keep going, and there's different variations of them. And for off road, there's off road two. IX bug tires and then there's IX heavy off-road and that's it for the off-road tires for mud tires we have the heavy mud which has dualies in the back singles in the front then we got the monster mud tires which is these which is the ones I had that I showed you um, and then they got mud singles and then they got the uh, heavy medi mud medium grip. So I personally, uh, no, let me go up and down. And then you got your studded ones, which I think is just, um, which I think was the ones I had, so yeah. Keep going. Oh, and then there's also the True Duels. So these are like the biggest tires, I think. They're even bigger than the... They're a little bit bigger than the Monster Mud tires, I think. And then here you got your studded ones. So you got the heavy mud, the monster tires, and then the singles. So obviously I have the 49 inch of these ones. Those are the ones I have. Best tires, they're good on off-road, on-road, 
Off-road is excellent, mud is excellent, and ice is excellent. So they're uh, pretty good. So we'll put those on. Um, and this is the offline one, and then this is the eye extreme offline, where it says if you can't go to the tree, the tree will come to you. So in other words, it's pretty heavy and it's pretty powerful. Uh, diff lock, engageable. Um, there's the wedge cap snorkel, and then there's the base. There are basic snorkels, painted mate and chrome. I like the wedge cap personally, but that's just me. And then you got your rear wheel drive and all wheel drive axle. So you can change it. And then for frame add-ons, oh, this is where it gets interesting. You got your four slot box with doors and ramps. So this prevents your stuff from falling out, which is really nice. Um, these are your toolbox stuffs. We'll find that later on. Um, this is folding side cargo beds. So these, so they'll basically those sides, they fold down. Uh, two slot roll back, um, basically just rolls back. Um, onto the ground so you can put a, a car or a truck on it. It's got repair parts and a fuel tank and spare wheels for uh, a small scout truck. Um, and then there's the three slots lower back which is a little bit bigger. Um, it's got the same amount of repair parts and fuel tank and spare wheels though. And then this is the rotator which the guy did a very very good job on um, and you there's multiple combinations with the rotator uh, you can have the mini crane for the sideboard too on my thing glitched again so yeah as you can see you got your extra repairs your crane rollbacks 3 ton then you got a cargo slot for the rotator so you can actually put the rotator and then have uh, a one slot box and the sides fold down as well for easier loading uh, there's a sleeper it's just an add-on it includes 100 spare par repair parts one spare wheel and 50 fuel tank uh, there's the rotator toolbox uh, the sleeper toolbox the mini the RU mini anti-sleeper me and then they go saddle high and saddle low so there are as many and then there's the axle lift uh, you can put that on the back of the rotator obviously um, as a kind of like an add-on so you got your rotator and then you got your axle lift and then you can you can you can one put the sleeper on and then have the rotator repair cart up here and then have it there and then have your sleeper or you can ha maximize it and go with the repair cart the rotator toolbox and the um, rotators toolbox extra su extra supplies or extra repairs and that one sits right there and then yeah, or you can have that um, and then see and then you can have that but you need to install the toolbox first. So either way, so put that on you need the toolbox and so it already gives you the extra slots and then you can put that on to maximize for cargo. Um, for bumpers, customization, they only got the stock mud flaps, you can't have it sadly with the rotator. Uh, you got roof marker lights, different horns, road lights, visors, and whatnot. Your hood, you can ch paint, uh, change the trim, painted, mate, and then chrome, I think chrome is the best personally. And then you got your bumper, brush guard bumper, which actually has added mass, you can see it kind of moves a little bit. Um, it kind of adds that mass, kind of if you want more grip, um, but it also sinks you in the mud more. So it's a little, and it's also, but it also sinks you in the water more. So um, then you got your front bumper, mate, chrome, uh, whatnot. Then you also got an even bigger winch bumper, which adds even, which adds a lot more mass. It's twice 
it's, it's twice two of these of the brush guard bumpers and then for miscellaneous you got like your mirror housing so up there you can see your mirror housing changes from painted mate chrome it can change the color of your fuel tanks down there um, there's also stickers so you can put them on the side of your toolbox whatnot and then there's also stickers for the cargo box too if you want them uh, there's sleeper toolbox uh, and there's also a towing sticker I'll put that towing sticker on you can't see it right now but I will show you in a minute once I change the color and then you got your different exhaust muzzle full mate painted mate and chrome and then you got your um, outrolled exhaust chrome mate and painted and then for rims there's not really much for rims that's just whatever comes with the tire and then for visuals um, this is the color I personally have on the blue Um, and then you can see we go to frame add-ons you can actually see recovery services so that's the sticker it just says recovery services on the side and then yeah and then for the same thing for interior customization Bobbleheads, uh, you got your inclometer. That's the that's a different mod that you can actually get. Um, that's the Rexit DLC, which basically puts a dog inside of your cab. Uh, you got your Joker, which you can unlock with the Ride on King trial, Dash and Hawaii, and then Masha. Accessories, clubs, diamonds, you know all that stuff up there. And then you got your stickers, slots, different slots, and all that. And then you got your exterior stickers, you got um, just the two side doors. And then you got hood ornaments too, just snuffles, chrome hood, which kind of glitches out the lights. Uh, there's snuffles in the tay hood. And then there's also snuffles painted hood, which also kind of makes the lights really wonky. Don't know why, but it does that. So yeah, that's the that's that one. And then for the crawler, 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 crawler. Where are you? Where are you, crawler, crawler? You can see there's a bunch more mods I have to do reviews on. Um, but you can see this one is really cheap. Um, it was only. twelve thousand two hundred eighty nine dollars so that's pretty cheap um, for what you get out of this vehicle customization options you got your stock engine s rating s plus for durability and s for fuel consumption it doesn't have the greatest torque but it'll do it could do upgraded upgrades you to s plus and performance is just outright it's s plus and beyond and the torque is absolutely insane and it only costs 150 dollars which isn't pretty nice Uh, gearbox same thing each of them costs $150 Hi, I go with highway transmission since you don't need the off-road for the gears since this thing is just an absolute beast and then obviously you got your lifted which is a little more expensive for $420 but that's like a quarter of what you'd earn in like a contest like a really quick contest um, and then yeah as you can see it kinda raises it up uh, and then you don't have much for tires. Wow, there's the assassinators, the generic off-road tire, and then there's the studded generic off-road tire. This is the tire I usually go to because it's an all-around tire. It's excellent on everything, including ice. Uh, these ones, they're great tires, but they're kind of small in width. Um, but in diameter, they're the biggest tires. They're bigger in diameter but 
these ones are thinner and they are not so great on ice so I don't recommend them on ice on places with ice like flooded foothills or manger like caused um, but yeah I usually go with these ones and these are the default ones you get the generic off-road tire but I like the studded one and then stock winch is basically just really power it's just really powerful winch so it already comes with that and there's not much of that for other customization there's no interior customization uh, no visual it's just upgrade so you got your suspension your tires uh, there's no other upgrades for the winch but though it's just in there yeah so you got your engine gearbox suspension and tires that you can actually upgrade but yeah so uh, that is pretty much it for for this um, the next time we go to the tank to go through uh, we got this one to go through the NK Puma and we also got this huge beast which I believe you guys already know by now and we also got many more. We got this one to do. We got the other Ajax, the Wrecker. Uh, we also got this Kolob. I wasn't really sure what to do with it. Uh, we also got a Azov to do, another Western Star to do, a 69 and a Twin Steer mod. Uh, and then we got this one too. This one's kind of a great, a pretty good truck. Uh, this one, and then we also got this one too. Freightliner. Uh, we got this one, which is pretty nice. There's a highway version of it. Um, I haven't, I haven't tested the Z series out before, so I might have to just do one thing dedicated to it. Uh, there's a Z Z six um, FR. Don't know what that means. Probably just edited they probably just added a bunch of stuff onto it yeah like a log carrier different sideboard beds but I'm not gonna spoil the surprise for you guys um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this stream oh and then octopus 2 and the yurf dog and brits gaz sorry I'm just going on and on and on I know but um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the stream and if you like the stream and like more of the content, then subscribe, like, and comment below. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.